Hello gamers and welcome once again to Pair of Philosophy Dose. Today I'm going to start my first let's play, hopefully a successful one. I'm going to go for a new game, not the easy start, or should I call it the quick start, and I'm going to choose some of my own options. Now, as for the mission sponsor, the International Mars mission is pretty much your easiest pick. Uh, the most important thing about it is that the rockets synthesize their own fuel, albeit slowly, but they still do. You get a lot of funding, you ha have a lot of starting applicants, you also get massive amounts of funding, equivalent to 30,000 Mars units, Mars dollars, Mars however you want to call it, it's just M, 30,000 M. Then you get to choose the USA, Blue Sun Corporation, China, India, Europe, Space Y, I'm guessing that's instead of Space X, Church of the New Ark, Russia, and Paradox Interactive, which is pretty much the hardest because difficulty right there, it says hard, the starting rockets you get only one funding is just four thousand mars dollars research pair soul is just 100 rare metals price is 24 per mm, ton i guess S but you do discover more breakthrough anomalies your uh, when you research breakthrough uh, tech uh, gains you applicants and uh, rockets require more fuel to launch which is the biggest drawback here now i'm not sure exactly which one I like, I've seen people use Europe because it gives you extra funding when you use tech uh, and double when you do a breakthrough attack. You also get f uh, more starting technologies, you get more research per soul and so on and so forth. It's kind of a normal start and it allows you to do well while you research, which is pretty awesome. Now I'm just going to think about which I'm going to choose. As I look through these, uh, there are some interesting buffs and debuffs. There is also something that can help really a lot, like uh, periodic additional funding, or for example, Russia, which has uh, the bonus tech that has fueled extractors, which are then free to upgrade, and you have uh, the cost for the fuel refinery prefab reduced by 50%, but they have a drawback where the rockets have an extended travel time. Paradox Interactive is kind of insanely difficult, I mean, that's really if you want to just make a game all about the difficulty, since this is a game where I kind of want to be able to show you how to play the game and continue playing the game instead of just resetting every time something bad happens. I'm going to stay away from the Paradox Interactive. Probably I'll do that the hardest difficulty bonus ever let's play at some point. But right now for a first let's play, I'm thinking of choosing Russia. It's pretty hard. It's almost the hardest one but still you have two rockets you have five million uh, five thousand m units funding you have 200 research per soul you have a good amount of starting applicants you have the bonus tech that i talked about the rockets having an extended travel time is not that big of a drawback so i am going to go with russia the commander's profile now this is also interesting because it has a lot of bonuses for you to choose from now the rocket scientist is one of the uh, best ones for easy starts because you get an extra rocket and you have the bonus tech the co2 jet propulsion which unlocks the shuttle hub and the long range transportation which is something you get around mid game if you do not use this so it does help out because the shuttle hub allows you to transport resources across the map in um, robots that fly now i'm going to look through this and choose something that's a bit more interesting than this Starts with a rare metal deposit revealed, extractor production increase, and deep scanning bonus stack. This is cool because this way you want to uh, cover deep uh, deposits with buildings at the start because you're going to be able to deep scan and scan normally at the same time. So that's pretty cool. Ecologist, so the comfort degradation, service comfort of the uh, decorations is increased by 10%, which means that once you plant, uh, trees, parks and such things, uh, you're going to have a bigger bonus from those. And the Hanging Gardens unlocks a spire which improves residences in the dome. Also that is something that you can use uh, to, uh, well, uh, the comfort. The higher it is, the easier it is for um, Martians or colonists to have babies. So this is a good perk to choose if you want to have babies early on. The Futurist is also very cool because uh, you break, uh, break your text a research 30% faster and you have the autonomous sc uh, scanners, which are the towers that uh, you place along the map and, and they allow you to scan the map faster. You, they also don't require power or maintenance. So it's a really awesome, very powerful perk. The politician increases your funds 
and gives you the Martian patents which also uh, give you the ability to gain more funds as you use research. The psychologists, the colonists receive 5 extra sanity while resting in their homes which is pretty useful and also the behavior shaping unlocks a sanatorium spiral which allows you to send colonists in and get rid of their bad flaws. Not very powerful. Doctor, minimum comfort for birth lowered by 15, also like the ecologist, allows you to get babies uh, much quicker. And this uh, stem uh, reconstruction colonist lifespan is increased, like I said, in order to get those high population colonists. The Hydra Engineer starts with the water do uh, deposit rebuild, that's actually very good. Domes consume less water, also awesome, and water acclimation unlocks a spire which reduces water consumption. That's very good also if you want a uh, high population Mars colony. The oligarch fuel production increased by 25%. This actually would go uh, very nice along with the Russians as uh, our benefactors. The bonus tech arcology unlocks a residential spile. That's actually an awesome building. It goes in the middle of a, a dome and allows you to have like 20, 30, 35 colonists in the middle a very huge number and it doesn't take up the spots around uh, the inside of the dome but the center so that's really cool and fuel production increased by 25 percent so that would actually go really well uh, with the russians inventor drones are gradually optimized to work and construct faster until sol 100 okay that's not really for long term and the autonomous hub drones hubs no longer require power of maintenance that's actually very useful so like I said, I'm going to go with the oligarch wi because of the fuel production. I want to stack that with the bonuses that the Russians are going to give me. And the arcology uh, unlock is very good because you can put a lot of people in that building. Now let's see the colony logo. This is only cosmetic. I'm going to go with the curiosity and the mystery. Hmm. So they do have a rating of easy, normal and hard. I guess I might as well leave it on random since this is the first time I'm playing and I don't really know which one of those is going to be actually easy, hard and how hard. So I'll just leave that on random. So the effects starting rockets 2, difficulty hard, funding 5000 Mars dollars. Research per soul 200, rare metals price 22. This is actually, I think, one of the lowest prices when you export uh, rare metals to back to Earth. Starting applicants 100, which is okay. Bonus tech fuel extractors, they're free as an upgrade. The fuel refinery prefab costs 50% less. The fuel production is increased by 25%. And the rockets have an extended travel time and uh, the bonus tech ecology is unlocked. Alright, so this is our rocket. It's called Zenith 1 at the moment, but I would rather call it Land Lando. Now you probably know who Lando is, and I'm gonna call my first rocket Lando. And in case you don't know, it's a character from Star Wars. So prefab buildings. I'm gonna go with a little bit of an unorthodox start. So I'm going to go with an RC rover, an RC explorer, no drones on the shuttle itself, the rocket, but only the drones that come up with the RC rover. I'm going to keep the 15 polymers, 20 machine parts, electronics are going to go down a little bit. I'm going to have six of orbital probes and I think that just leaves problem of getting the RC transport which takes 10,000 kilograms so something is gonna gotta go electronics completely in order to be able to get the RC transport yep okay so the RC rover uh, Explorer transporter polymers 15 machine parts 20 no electronics and six orbital orbital probes let's get going to Mars but first, let's pick a spot. Uh, I would like to find a spot that has dust storms and meteors, but no dust devils and cold waves because cold waves... Oh, here we go. This could work. I have metals. There is concrete, water, no dust devils. Oh, very minimal dust devils, minimal cold waves, lots of meteors and dust storms. Now, the dust storms will impair your ability to use moxies and moisture vaporizers, which I'm probably going to try and ignore using. 
or use as few as I can and then there are the meteors which can impact and destroy stuff but they also bring in metal polymers and more importantly new places to explore with your IRC explorer and they can uh, bring in a lot of research points the dust devils simply destroy stuff so I like to avoid those and the cold waves are really annoying to fight with because you have to build these buildings that are going to increase the um, uh, that are going to increase the temperature in order to stop you from losing uh, water which would freeze in that cold wave okay let's start and let's see what the gods of RNG are gonna give us welcome to Mars welcome indeed let's pause the game for now anomaly Ooh, water on our average 10,000 water Thank you RNG gods, you have been really kind to me this time. Average 500 concrete, an anomaly, a rare metals deposit, low grade, but that's water on average, that's amazing. So found water on Mars, nothing to scan, nothing to research. Uh, oh, let's see what do we have to research. Water reclamation, spark, eh, so so. A rocket cargo space is increased by 10,000 kilograms. That's fantastic. Robotics, drones and rovers move faster. Awesome. Autonomous sensors. Sensor tower no longer require power or maintenance. Awesome. You use these uh, to scan the area around the shuttle. And live from Mars, more applicants will start to appear. Okay, don't need those. So what do I need first? Well, fuel actually not. And drones and rovers moving faster. Yes, autonomous sensors can go next. Okay, so robotics, autonomous sensors, and then fuel compression. I only have 200s from my sponsor, 200 research points from my sponsor. So this may take a while, but I do have an anomaly here, which could actually give me an infusion of research points. Now let's press the key M on our keyboards and see what else can be explored here concrete and metals whoa two anomalies more concrete over here concrete and metals nope still just concrete and anomalies 45 percent buildable 86 another anomaly another rare earth rare uh, metal deposit hmm, let's go here concrete and metal okay more concrete i only have two more is there anything else interesting here let's try and find that metal 53 60 Nothing here, unfortunately. And over here, ah, uh, also nothing. That was horrible. Okay, so the spot to land our Lando. We could go here. This is low. Over here, low. Average 1,500. High 1,500. That's actually pretty awesome. And over here, more anomalies. Well, I could come closer to this water and just use this one to start with. It's average 500. Well, over here, it's high. Hmm. Really not sure which one should I go. I don't think I need the water right away. I mean, I am going to need the water in order to be able to produce rocket fuel. So maybe I can start here and develop over here later on. And there's lots of metal here as well. Yes, so let's drop our a rocket about here and let's go speed up the game and the Russians have just landed on Mars first out of the gate the RC rover which is going to allow us to be able to build now in order to build a concrete extractor we I could actually pause uh, the concrete extractor we do need power for it and it could be supplied by a large solar panel which requires metal now we can build that a bit further away from the deposit so we don't overlap we do need metal and the RC transport could start bringing in that metal let's just place a spot for it a metal depot so it has somewhere to put all that metal at let's do that here there's the transport load drop actually we could give him a mission to go a little bit further because that spot there can be uh, used by the drones from the RC rover. Now we could reduce this down so they only concentrate on this and then they build this and then afterwards they can build concrete extractor which can go here. Let's just rotate that 
to fit as much concrete as possible with one building so 360 did I see 380 somewhere no 360 how about like this 350 actually we had more turn this way so 365 if turn like this you're gonna need a cable to supply the power to this thing okay that's a cable and we are going to need a battery to charge up because uh, the solar panels only give you power during the day that's why I paused because it's still daylight I don't want to burn daylight so first we need power then we need the concrete extractor to start working and later on we can build a battery you can do that here maybe a bit over here actually or why not just build it here there we go so you have your job oh the RC Explorer here's research right here go and research that okay so did we set everything up yes the drones are gonna start working this thing uh, just has polymers and machine parts we can get that out but it's not uh, anything that we have to do right now these guys are gonna uh, take or is this metal seems like that might be metal so they should be able to pick that up take it over here and then build a large solar panel first then the concrete extractor second and power accumulator oh it's not a battery it's a power accumulator we could use either name I think they're actually removing the rocks from here yeah they're removing the rocks the metal comes from here May makes more sense waste rock okay we could uh, do a place for that as well dumping site we can put that up here let's put several right now so we don't have to worry about the waste rock later on so we can now speed up the game this guy is getting the metal this guy is doing the research this guy is doing the building actually these guys are doing the building this guy is the manager okay we have power now we're gonna have a power consumer as soon as this clears up it's interesting it's bluishly green i think it's a cray color or i'm not sure how you pronounce that color i think that was a meteor strike research somewhere close complete. by oh here anomaly we go analyzed. research milestone achieved and we already have uh, this researched because of that extra research we got from the anomaly drone swarm drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones and the maximum number of drones is increased by 80 that's awesome but i don't need that right now it's a thousand research points what should i get it's a third one i guess you can do life from mars uh life from mars for now so this uh, still doesn't have oh they're picking up the machine parts the machine parts coming from here there they are and the metals from here have you picked up all that metal 15 i think he's gonna pick up all of it there's like hmm, 40 out of 43 and he already has 17 he must have picked up something else along the way in any event here we go the concrete extractor is working now uh the night shift can only be activated if you have power but the solar panels don't work at night which means that i should probably turn this off because at night there's not going to be power for it now uh, the day is almost out and the night is about to begin so the solar panel is going to just go down and shut off but tomorrow i'm going to have another solar panel ready i'm going to build it right now i just try and get it to be right next to this one there we go now once we have two they're going to produce 10 power and the power accumulator is going to be able to get capacity for this concrete extractor to work at night right now it's not working because it has no power but as soon as i have power in the power accumulator whoa what those are some very close meteor strikes by the way i don't think i have given my rc explorer the next mission let's see is there any more research points to be had there we go get those and the rc transport is still picking up oh actually he did bring some metal here lots of metal here now and i do need a concrete deposit as well 
we can do that over here next to this one now the uh, these tiny robots the drones are going to pick up this concrete bring it here it's going to be more um, uh, better managed that way while the excess rock is going to end up uh, the waste rock is going to end up at the dumping site so this is pretty much the first thing you have to do you have to accumulate power for the night shift whoa there we go the meteor just struck uh, you have to accumulate the power in order to have your uh, concrete extractor working at night. I have now two solar panels and Research I already have complete. stored power now. Analyzed. Excellent, that was 1500 from the anomaly. Now we could go here and do some anomaly researching that is going to provide us with new tech. Now let's see what did we unlock. Extractor amplification. This allows us to increase production but increases power consumption. Well, I am going to queue that up just because I don't have anything better to queue up for now and we'll see what comes up next. Scanning in progress. Is this guy still picking up metals? Yes. Three, two, one. Come on, one. Okay, bring that up there and then we're going to use you to pick up from other spots, for example, from here transport route from here out to here now I should build a universal depot and get the rest of the resources possible to be emptied Anomaly from analyzed. the Lando lander sh shuttle okay analyze where are you here what did we get new tech upgrades and this is anomaly something interesting anomaly found oh a new anomaly here we go oh actually and I think I forgot to actually place a uh, scan so we're scanning here. This is sector F6. There isn't a lot of buildable area here. We can scan this next. Let's say this, this, and this. Should have probably done that on Sol 1, but I kind of forgot about it. Let's see what's next. That's why I don't like playing on uh, fastest speed, because you don't have time to look through everything. Now, what did we uncover here? Wind turbines upgrades. That's cool if you use those. Excellent! Explorer AI generates 100 science per soul for each RC Explorer vehicle. This is going to just give us a 50% boost to our science as soon as we research this. And I'm going to put this ahead of these two. So first the Explorer AI, then the Live from Mars. What's next? Increase research provided by sponsor 100. This is awesome! I'm going to have double the research points after this okay live from mars and what's this uh, advanced martian engine rockets and shuttles required this is fantastic i'm getting awesome techs one after the other so i'm going to queue up these and i'm going to be able to get a lot of new tech very quickly so the rc rover uh, he doesn't have anything to do right now we could expand this and the little guys once they emptied the shuttle and put the resources on the universal depot they can go and pick up the rest of the metal deposits i think there are other deposits as well maybe even some polymers dropped by the meteors i'm not 100 percent on that so let's see here uh 6 10 of 120 okay so it's night but i seem to have enough stored power yep 70 5 is being used so it's discharging the power accumulator and the concrete extractor is able to work at night even though there's no new power coming in now i do already have 76 metals and i could go and build another concrete extractor uh, because i have enough metal and machine parts and enough power but before that i could increase my power production with another large solar panel let's see if we can put that one right here so first that, then another one of these. I will put one more here. Yeah, I can. It's going to be 357, something like that. Let's try it this way. Same thing. So 350 is the maximum. And we can get the power cable there as well from here.
Now, uh, I do need to build the large solar panel first and the concrete extractor last. Okay, so who's doing what? You're commanding the drones. They should be able to build that, but we can move you up there so it will be easier. You're still ex analyzing this and you're picking up metals. All right, so how much do we have? 82 metal, 20 concrete. A power two metal steer has power and it's almost daytime, so I'm going to be able to use the new solar panels to full effect and Until even accumulate today, more power. The only place we thought you could find ice 15 Ooh. outside of a lab was on an icy planet or a moon. And here we find it on Mars. This is uh, going to allow me to have 500 more Mars bucks in funding. That's excellent because I'm going to be able to bring in more stuff on the next uh, rocket. Now the reason I haven't brought in a new rocket yet because I am still uh, trying to figure out where I'm going to build the what and I don't want uh, my rocket sitting on top of something that I want to build on. And I also do not need anything new and I do not have the fuel uh, production yet in order to be able to bring back a rocket. So now I have large solar panels and this one isn't actually connected yet. So I could build new here or new here. I'm going to put a wire going through here. The RC Explorer has finished that one. Okay, you can go here. This is also an anomaly. Something interesting should be fun. Let's see. Oh, we are low on power. Now you can uh, get these to recharge if you put them on these uh, wires, power cables, whichever way you want to call them. This guy has finished picking up those resources. So now I can send it to do this. What do we have here? Oh, polymers. You should pick up those, bro. Pick up those from there and bring them over here here to the universal one if it can pick up yeah it can it has more room i should probably make a few more of these just so there's space for everything they do only al allow for 30 of each well uh, these specific ones allow for 180 machine parts almost all out okay so this is a uh, pretty good start I have resources nearby I have anomalies I'm scanning stuff uh, as soon as I finish researching oh actually I finished researching the automated sensors so I could actually build one unless it requires something that I haven't brought I just find it uh, wind turbines power switches sensor towers they actually require electronics and as you know uh, I haven't brought any electronics Anomaly found. so that's actually what I'm going to have to bring in on the second a rocket anomaly found where oh over here no this from meteor strikes must have been somewhere else in any event like I said I'm going to bring in the next rocket uh, because I'm going to need the electronics and then we can move on from there in the next video. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more.